Hey guys, this video is about two special wildcats. And these wildcats are very high jumping in the savannah. First one is like a cheetah. Not as big as a cheetah though. Second one is about the one, the only carrot. There's, there's no other cat that looks like a caracal. Seriously. So, and the other one that, that I was talking about that looks like a cheetah is not a cheetah. It's a serval. And these wild cats are really fast. So, we're, so we'll first talk about the serval. The serval is a very, very cool wild cat. Honestly, I think I like the serval more better than the than better than the caracal because they look cooler. They jump actually way higher than the caracal. So we gotta do this fast because I don't have much time on my hands, huh? Servals have spots, just like a cheetah, and they look very like a cheetah, but and, but the, but cheetahs have longer tails because they have to run faster. But, the and the caracal, it, and the caracal and the cheetah, and the caracal and, ser, and the serval are actually fighting because they're, because they're fighting against the, well, well they're, the serval are fighting against the cheetahs for food. And the guinea fowl. So yeah, so we're lowering their food, aka the guinea fowl. And, and they love that food, that's their favorite food. So, and people are just hunting them. So if we don't stop hunting these those guinea fowls, we, will lose a lot of cats. Cheetahs, cheetahs don't normally steal food. But if they see a caracal, it's free food for them. So yeah, they'll take it. And this, and I will show you the picture. If I can't show you, if I can't show you the real animal, I'll, I'll draw you the real animal. Also, this is not a how to draw. I won't teach you how to draw a serval or a caracal. So I made this line right here. This line is, so this one's for the serval, that one for, is for the caracal. And they jump extremely high. Do you know, and do you know why they jump extremely high? When the guinea fowls are flapping and flying, of course, when they see the caracal, they fly, and then they jump high, they claw the guinea fowl, and then they bite it really fast, and then they bring it down to the ground to murder it and eat it. So, so, their dens, are really, 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 well, they're very rare, the dens. And, and if you find one, make sure to leave it alone. Also, yeah, of course, no one lives in Africa that watches my videos. I never went to Africa. Anyway. Anyway, you can find these at the zoo in North America. And other than Africa, they don't live in the wild because they only live in the African savanna because that's the only place where the caracals live. So time to show you this circle. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Serval is getting a sip of water. 
What happens if they meet? I got no plan. I got no idea if, if what happens if they meet. And they have short tails, just like that. See? Yeah. They have short tails. Not like a cheetah's, which has a very, very long tail. And did you know that these are not, they do, these cats don't purr like this. These cats hiss. And they're the biggest hissing wild cats ever. And that hissing can even get rid of a croc. That shows how tough they are. What am I to mess with that thing? And they also have retract retractable claw claws. Do cheetahs have retractable claws? No, they don't. They just keep their claws out. I'm gonna keep his claws on because he knows that there are gators in the water, so keep his claws. And they also have spots. I don't know why they have spots. Cheetahs also. Nobody actually knows why they have spots. And, since I don't have pink, we're improvising. Make pink for the nose. But, I don't have pink right now. There. For the nose. See? Very cute. Very button. And, what's the color of the circle? Of course, it's the cheetah's color. Yellow. Okay, it, yeah. Definitely might fast forward this part. Yeah. Okay, there. A cheetah. Coloring is done. And also, this cheetah. Oh, wait, it's not a cheetah. It's a serval. They live in the African savanna, so of course it would be hot. And they would have sand on the riverbank, like really red sand. There are different types of sand. And what's on the African savanna? That's red sand. And I'm going to get this table really, really dirty. I should have thought of that. But we're making a video, so I can't do it now. Color, 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 color. Fast forward. Three, two, one. tall grass that that the serval goes in. These are very rare wildcats. Serval's rarer. So because he's yellow, he hides in the he hides in the yellow grass. So he's so no predator like a lion could, would see him. Also not many people get to see him. I hope I might get to see him. Just hope. These cheetahs, you don't want to mess with them. And they're very good related to cheetahs. That's why they're called the miniature cheetahs of the savannah. Nobody calls them that, but I do. And these guys hunt guinea fowl. That's their favorite prey. So... What happens when a serval meets a caracal? I got no idea. So I got more information on the caracal than the serval. But the caracal and serval are very alike. You see this path? Oh, the serval won't go there. He has to hide in the grass or else the guinea fowl will see him and they'll fly away. And guinea fowls, you might think, whoa, 
what on earth is that? Guinea fowls are, are just some African chickens. Of course, I'll draw some right after I'm done all this grass. Grass, 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 and grass. There. The guinea fowl is right here. I'm just going to draw one because I don't have enough time to draw many. Okay. Here is a guinea fowl. They live in flocks. And it's not a video about guinea fowl. And there, there probably won't ever be a video about guinea fowl. Only if I get inspired on guinea fowls. That's when I'll do a video on them. They're technically like chickens. Except they're not chickens. And they live in the wild. Do chickens live in the wild? I don't know. And they also have blue spots. Okay, this is a really dark blue. I hope you get to see. This is a guinea fowl. Can I see? Okay. So these fowls live in the same habitat of this cat. Same habitat. I just gotta... There. Now I just gotta make the sun. This is a serval drinking the water at the river with a guinea fowl. He's about to hunt. He's gonna be like that. Guinea fowl will fly, and then he'll he'll just catch it because he'll jump like this. See, guinea fowl, and he'll just eat it. But but if but if he has kittens, he won't eat it. He will take it back to the den, and then they'll just have him dinner. Kind of a weird dinner choice, though. You can't find them in the rainforest. Not a, you can't find them in the rainforest. And you can't find them in the desert either. Only the African savannah, only habitat. And the other guy, the cousin of the serval, which is the caracal, I didn't say his name much, the caracal has insane powers. Oh wait, I forgot something about the serval. His pointed ears. That matters. There. Now it looks more like a cat. There. That's a serval, everyone. And I'm I'm gonna might do the same coloration, except maybe no trail. Maybe I'll make the caracal. I'm going to show you how they do flips and stuff. It's going to be awesome. Just got to finish this. There. So, so these guys, the caracals, uh, are a tan wildcat. And just like the and just like the serval, shing shing shing, claws. Because there are Nile crocodiles at the river, and those, well, you do not want to mess with those. Only a few animals can mess with those, like honey badgers, servals, these guys. Few animals can mess with those. Lions can't even mess with those. Hippos can. They literally eat alligators and crocodiles. 
Africa doesn't have n much alligators because it has none. Pointed ears with the same. Yeah, you have that. And they also have a little nose. Instead of making it a circle, it'll be a triangle. That actually looks a lot more than like a circle than a triangle. Now, these cats are brown. And now my fingers are going to be brown for the whole video. Color, 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 color. Oh, I, never, I never actually used this brown color. Okay, 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 okay. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. There, go. This is this guy's cousin. And I forgot to add something for this guy. Some more tall, some more grass. There. That's a lot of grass. They even can mess with the honey badger. Usually, the honey badger wins. I don't think there was ever a recording of a caracal fighting a honey badger. There was never actually a recording. And the caracal can jump really high, which I'm going to do. They can jump really high. Eyes. Then I'm gonna have to add nose. There. Ears. There. Then the body. They can jump like really high. Like really, really high. They get their claws out. And, and, you, most people don't believe this, but cats always land on their feet. That is true. That's a fact. So they come out like this. They they can do what to escape. Oh, see, so a crocodile can be like this. The the caracal could just be drinking a sip. Pretend this is a river. Pretend this is a river. And then the crocodile and then the caracal is just drinking a sip. Crocodile comes out. And then he just hisses the crocodile out of there. Pretty cool, huh? Might not believe it, but it's true. Just gotta. There we go. And. Guinea fowls are actually kind of fat. Spots, 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 there. There. 
go. Beak. And then. Here's cotton. Why do I have cotton? So I so I can make this look a little more realistic. I don't think this will work with marker, will it? Yes, it ain't working. Well, that is the end of this video. This is what the picture looks like. And this, and now, make sure to like and subscribe, hit the notifications, that's the end.